project's been around since 2003, which is when they took the vote. There were three different states, I believe, that they were looking at, and New Hampshire won out um, over the others. And since then, um, we have about 10,000 people, I think it's close to 11,000 now, that have actually signed up. And what they've done is you sign a pledge, and it's called a statement of intent. And basically you say, I agree with everyone else, if within five years we get 20,000 people uh, to sign the statement of intent, then we will all move to New Hampshire together. Now what has also happened is, because some of us just couldn't wait to get here and to get things started, it was the guys from Free Talk Live, actually, uh, Ian Freeman and Mark Ed, started a first movers first 1000 campaign and that's how a lot of people who are now in state got here um, because we just decided look you know we're not gonna wait till we get to the 20,000 we actually think that this is a great plan and a good idea and let's just get started right away for me personally I moved in 2008 so I've been here almost uh, four years now and um, it's the best move I ever made the Free State Project has two signature events. The one is called Liberty Forum, and that's held in the winter. And then our sort of premier event, our summer event, is Porkfest. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com, as in porcupine. The porcupine is our mascot. It's the Free State Project's mascot. And the reason for that is because they're prickly, but they're also peaceful and lovable, but you don't want to mess with them. So it's that sort of don't tread on me idea, I guess, with the porcupines. Everything we do at the FSP is a volunteer organization, and honestly, we're always looking for people to help. If you have a specific skill set and you're like, hey, you know, I can make flyers for you or I can help you to do this, you know, we want that. If for some reason you can't do that, but you're a money bags kind of person and you're just wondering what you want to do with your money, you can go to donate at fspfreestateproject.org. What do we use our money for? No one gets paid. I don't get paid, I'm usually in the hawk. Uh, we use it for marketing, we use it um, to sponsor something like Liberty on Tour, you know, to get the Free State Project's name out there. Uh, we use it for mailings, uh, we use it to go to conferences. Chris and I be going to Freedom Fest in Vegas in July, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be epic. So, you know, your money may go to help to do that, to defray costs. I think in some ways, like the way I think about what we're doing is we're, we're a giant cosmic organism of some sort and our little beating heart is here in New Hampshire, but these are ideas and they're spreading. And so for some people, yes, I want everyone to move here so that, you know, my work can be done. But on the other hand, this is a battle for ideas and this is, you know, a vital, important battle for ideas. So if you can't make it, but this is something you believe in, talk to other people because you may meet that other person who goes, you know what? This is right for me. I can move. One of the interesting things about how the Free State Project works, and people get a little confused about this sometimes, is I, what, I'm basically, I'm not only the queen and the president, I'm actually just a bus driver. So the Free State Project is the vehicle or the bus that gets people encourages people to sign the statement of intent and to move here. But once you're in state, you're free to do whatever you want. So what you'll find is, you know, some people are into politics, so they run. We have 12 state reps in the house now. Um, some people are not into politics. I mean, we do attract a lot of anarchists. And so if you, you know, want to take a more civil disobedience route, that's something that's totally open to people. You're going to find your, your your kindred spirits here. Ultimately, what sort of uh, unites all of us is this burning belief that we are doing something that's fundamentally hugely important. We have come to one place. We are concentrating together for a dream and for something that is, I mean, it's, it's our freedom, it's our sovereignty, it's our lives. And so, it's vitally important, and if this speaks to you, I, you know, I really just encourage you to come find us. Come find us.